Hit FM. We are here in the studio with Hugo the Poet. How are you going? Here, grab that mic. Oh, I get a mic. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, get a mic. <laughs> hey, uh, Kiss FM listeners, thanks for, for having me, you guys. You awesome hosts of this incredible show. <laughs> no worries. I'm going, oh my God, I'm so far away from the mic. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about you earlier because I've known of, about you for a couple of years, but you kind of... You're kind of in different. We're kind of in different circles. Yeah, if that makes sense. That's true. So I've never We've seen you. We've got this you. Venn diagram. Yes, we don't skims. actually like meet yeah. in the middle, but but um, so many good people are in like both circles. Yeah, I completely agree. So it's great to finally meet. Yes, you too. Um, so you've been like, oh my god, I'm so. I feel like I'm on top of you right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's good to get the we visual. Keep, actually. We, we keep it close. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. It's my home. They call radio. it Kiss <laughs> FM for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Hug yeah. FM. Hug it out. Um, uh, so you've been grinding for a long time now. Like, how long have yeah. you been rapping for? Oh, uh, since about 2003, which ages me a lot, you can tell. Because I started when I was, like, I started when I was already pretty old. I started when I was 23. Yeah. That's 2003. But by now, that's quite a long time. Yeah. I saw a, um, a thing you did a little, little while ago when you did a rap, but you were cutting off your dreads, yeah. which I, was kind of synonymous with you for such a long time. That's true. How was that process of like letting that go, I guess? Uh, actually, awesome. I wish I'd done it like <laughs> a couple of years ago. You know, just getting a bit thin on top. They weren't looking that good. And when I first did them, the people that I spoke to were like, look, you can go ahead and do this hairstyle, but you've got to represent it and you've got to make sure it looks good. And in the last few years, I was just like, I could see it kind of deteriorating. I was sure. like, I'm not representing this properly. Man, that's like me. I'm 29 and like... <laughs> right. Know, it's heartbreaking. Gone, dude. Dude, it's the journey of a man. Like, <laughs> you, you have to come to terms with, just you know... Embrace. Yeah, you're embrace. not young. Uh, we're not young anymore. And it's just something we have to let go of. So, just like embrace it. Well, embrace yeah. it, yeah. And I've got yeah. like a few follicles left, so... I'm you're just still like, doing all right yeah, I'm doing okay, but it's, it's all styling. Yeah. I went to the hairdresser today. I was like, dude, cover me up. <laughs> Come, do do me a solid cover me up he's like okay across the road's a hat shop go there I was like, cool sorted me out thank you no it's great i know um i think in that rap too you were talking about um like appropriation yeah. and that and like i guess people had said different things to you over the years and um, yeah like it was a bit of a rant uh probably if i re- if i'd known it was gonna like do quite well this because the song ended up doing quite yeah, well but it was ma- a great song too well, thank you that's really awesome if you just say so but a lot of people were like who is this white guy ranting about yeah. this? I think it even got posted on one of those forums called White Guys Ranting. <laughs> and, um, wow. Yeah. Uh, so I was like... You made it when that happens. Like. It's pretty much the level that a white person in rap can get to. <laughs> yeah. Like, get to the point where... No, I'm, I'm, I'm making fun because there are some people out there being properly lyrical and they don't get ridiculed <laughs> for their stuff. So I deserve the ridicule, you know, but it, it got the song out there. It made me question, like, okay, I probably should have tackled the topic in a more strategic way yep. but uh, you know I was kind of ranting about this idea that fundamentally here in Australia we're standing on let's be honest like stolen, stolen land. land absolutely and so for people to um, you know my rant was basically like hey guys like it's 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 a haircut let's get perspective like c- by the by all means come at me and criticize me but don't forget that that, that we're all you know there's a more fundamental Being appropriation a sure. happening yeah. totally. on a daily basis of, of colonization and yeah. and so you know don't lose that picture Yep. Fa- I, I should Let's have written that stuff in <laughs> yeah, the song. In the ra- <laughs> that was way clearer than the song. Yeah. Go two point oh and just yeah, shave, two point everything, everything, off, shave everything off. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like um, sometimes those reflective, th- like you do something like that and it's off the cuff, and then you get to reflect on it, and, and of course you might you know think you can do things better, but that's part of the process of it growing. Is. And, yeah. You know what? I think you did a great job. So. Oh. Is that my phone making that noise? Yeah, I'm so sorry. sorry. That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Let me switch that off. It's um, so rude of me. So, do you have anything to announce while you're here? Have you got? Yes, um, I do. I do. Thanks for asking. Don't, don't even worry about the sounds. All good. Um, yeah. So basically, I've just um, finished an album. Awesome. And um, it's called Jail Bars, and it's on the topic of like uh, youth incarceration is primarily what what it's about. I've been working in the space of um, youth um, youth justice for the last year. It's completely mind blowingly eye opening experience that I've had, coming from a place of. Um, let's not beat around the bush. I'm from a place of privilege, yep. and um, even though I wasn't like the best kid in the world, like none of the mistakes I made landed me up in jail. Yep. Whereas the wor- lads I've been working with, um, not only are they not from privilege, uh, but they're victims of trauma, yep. and they've wound up in this space, and and they're, they're you know fundamentally at the at the at Her Majesty's pleasure. Let's say they're, they're like uh, stuck in this system now. Um, so, so you know, just what an eye-opener for me as a person from privilege from the UK as well 
to come into this space of this country that I love dearly and, and see like this, these sectors of various uh, sectors of society that are, that are falling victim to, um, let's say, intergenerational trauma. Yep. And they, they, they stuck, they're stuck in a cycle. So, um, and one of the de deep things for me about that was also as a hip hop fan, because I had to come to terms with um, the fact that it's, it, in my opinion, it's now undeniable that there are certain aspects of, of um, modern hip hop, current iterations mm. of hip hop that are not helpful to our youth. Yeah, uh, and by the way, that I'm making, a, that sounds like a blanket statement, but what I'm referring to is specifically youth that are susceptible in this way. Sure. Um, this type of hip hop, this type of particularly trap, I gotta be honest, um, we, a lot of, most people can, can look at it and see a form of entertainment, but there are certain sectors of, of, um, of youth that don't see it as entertainment. They see it almost like a uh, instruction manual yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and something that they want to rock like as a soundtrack when they go out and do like what has come to be one of their favorite ways and most pleasurable adrenaline rush ways to deal with their trauma, which is to commit crimes. And um, so, do you think that's changed though? Because if you go back to like even early hip hop, especially yeah. the, like the hip hop that I grew up, which is um, West Coast gangster rap, like that was kind of always there. I mean, yeah. for me, again, I grew up in privilege as well, so it was very much I was able to separate it, and it was pure entertainment. But yeah. do you think that's actually changed, or do you think when you get older, you start going, "Holy shit!" Like you start realizing the impact that those words can have yeah. i don't know like, like all, i feel like it hasn't changed that much okay like all great questions you know the answer is like a mixed bag yeah. i think mm. For, first of all now i'm older and now i'm a parent of yeah. a son and you know it makes you change change, perspective. change your perspective yeah. however i think that if you look at the um, back catalog of a lot of artists now can you take someone fully gully like a master of it, someone like ice cube and you and you lay out his his back catalog of songs or, t or Park or Biggie and I think you would find a, a decent balance of proportion between a certain balance of proportion between songs that are glorifying and, and really um, sure. expressing um, yeah. in, a, in a glorifying way about that life and other songs which are more reflective and more apologetic more of a cry for help about that life um, whereas now I think the balance is so tipped like 99% if you take you know an artist like uh, 21 Savage mm -hmm. Or a, or a Chief Keef, and you lay out their songs, like what percentage is glorifying of crime and, and, and that life? And I think that the, the needle is tipped. That might, again, be no, my perspective. That's probably quite that's valid, point, actually. Yeah. I think it's tipped, and I think, you know, I'm, I, in this album, I'm not proposing any solutions in the lyrics. I'm just, like, observing things. Um, and if we want to talk solutions, what I've tried to do is... Um, uh, there are so many amazing organizations here in Victoria that are, that are helping youth, uh, particularly disconnected youth for various reasons, be they refugees or be they uh, victims of uh, drug addiction or homelessness or, po or poverty in general. And um, they're, they're in there in the trenches helping them out. So what I've tried to do is contact um, three or four of those organizations. And what I'm doing is the release of this album, it costs $8 on Bandcamp. And um, four of those dollars are split between four organizations that I think are doing amazing work That's across awesome. across right. fields of various sectors of youth that exist now. Um, so, um, That's super cool. Well, I, I hope so, because as I said, I'm, I don't have the solutions. Like, sway, I don't have the answers. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but these people might do. Yeah. Like, the people who are working in that field, in, on the daily, on the grind, yeah. we could say, really doing the good work in various sectors, I think they do have the solutions. And what they need is more of our help and more of our money. Yeah. Um, awesome. So yeah, that's the whole like, goal of the that's project. Cool, the goal is that the the the, the, the album is a cry for help. Uh, it's not on my behalf. I don't need it. I'm from privilege, but I think uh, se certain sectors of youth society do need it. That's Great, it. that's awesome. Well, um, let's play your song. Um, what's the title of this track we're going to play? Okay, so this one's called "About That Life," and I really wanted to um, you know bring this because I know this is a lyrical hip hop show that people really listen to lyrics. This one's a narrative track. It's a story track. It's not over a trap beat, but it's about one of these type of trap rappers or a gangster rapper. And it's from the, from the voice of, of one of those people where it's imagining a, a trajectory where they, um, they can see the state of, of life in their, in their neighborhood. And they want to do something about it, so they want to use rap to help out with it. And then the story has a couple of other chapters after that. So I'm hoping cool. people will really lock in sick. to these lyrics and hear this story and you know I know there's lyric fans out there so hit me up if you like this one I would, I would love to hear what you think or if you thought it was whack 
You can tell me that too. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get into it. A lot of screaming, somebody on the block bleeding Shooters catching bodies addicted to the Glock Squeezing cannon triggers at any random figures till they stop breathing Demons traumatized before life until they're not feeling I'm winning conscripts with PTSD from a militant conflict Rorschach, gore splats, the image is complex Crowds run from loud guns like giving a bomb threats We hostage to the monarchy's policy of division and conquest I look at my hood and then the penny fall I gotta get the word out, we can't live like this anymore I gotta tell them all, expose the devious trap that's keeping us back Keeping us trapped, keeping us strapped with the heat of the clap Until all I see of a brother is an enemy to attack With my red beam aiming straight at his back And all I see of a sister is the tits and the ass An object to possess, use and abuse and then leave with a brat Who's never meeting his dad, left back in the streets with no maps So the vicious cycle endlessly repeats the collapse I need to reach and teach the peace with my raps Jesus, I lay a thesis in the booth with the truth As the bass pounds in the mix Release it to the internet and it sounds like this I'm a savage, I'm all about that savage life I live lavish, trap until the day I die Born with nothing, and nothing satisfies his appetites Trapped in hell, so we made it a paradise The tune's sick, getting buzzed real quick on this music I hit up a hectic director for the film clip Visually we finna demonstrate this ill future Get the click together with cash, cars, lean and shooters Wanting the whole globe about the trap And letting them know Some old guy called Hip Hop The CNN of the ghetto Well this the bad news headlines So they get the message Posted on YouTube The shit starts to get hits A viral success Comments piling I hit refresh Instagram DMs filled with text from the press This the maddest scene This MC can't believe I used to empty magazines Now my face filling magazines Back in the booth to produce an album Quick my bars on a Conscious tip, labels like that's nice, but can you give us that gangster shit from your viral hit? I'm tempted to refuse, but I start to get frightened. If I don't bring the savage style, the rappers will bite it. So I pen them, spit the venom, seeing the dollar signs. My protest message got hijacked, commodified, but I got a rhyme about that life. Got a grind for my clientele, my life was hell. But now I'm making bands from the middle class off my cry for help. I'm a savage, I'm all about that savage life. I live lavish, trap until the day I die. Born with nothing, and nothing says. Deal, dropping savage bars on instrumentals Thug life covering per diems plus my incidentals I brandish heaters on the video like that shit's essential Then get driven back to my gated mansion in my Lexus rental Scrolling comments from little thugs saying they fucks with my angle How my bars get them charged to fucking mangle anyone in their way Toting gats with some custom handles Gunslingers treat my lyrics like instruction manuals I completely forgot that evening when people got shot How I wanted to expose the needs of the block Now I've influenced the block shutters to cause murder Instead of elevating the community, my raps made it fall further But I'm thinking, fuck it, at least my bank balance absurd I'm pulling up at my mansion curb And just then a wild pack of young hoodlums emerge Check me for the cash, chains and let the shooter burst It's a blur, I'm bleeding out on the ground And my feelings gone, the shot is leaving and I'm seeing them run Wheels spinning, bass booming, plus the volume of the beats is strong Last thing I hear is on their car stereo, they playing my song I'm a savage, I'm all about that savage life I live lavish, trap until the day I die Born with nothing, and nothing satisfies these appetites Trapped in hell, so we made it a paradise We're going to share this mic again. We're so we close. Are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> um, there we are, Ron. That, we are on. that was... Uh, <laughs> no, of course I did. Hugo the Poet with um, About That Life. That was cool. Yeah, super oh, cool. Oh, thank you. That was cool. Really cool. We're going to um, try something that we don't know if it's going to work yet, but we're going to yeah. try it. 
So you Hugo is wise. going to drop a freestyle. Yeah. Rui's going to play a beat that we just pulled off the internet, which right is a Joey Badass beat, actually. Um, instrumental. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to freestyle and then... A- you're going to point to us at a, one stage, yeah. and we're, like each of the hosts, and we're going to give you a word That's that you right. have to put into your freestyle. That's right. Okay. We're going to try it out. We're going to try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Hi, everyone watching uh, on the stream. That is... <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Okay. I'm You've got your... Up. Yo. Can you hear? I can't hear anything. Okay. Oh. I haven't got anything playing yet. All right. All right. You ready? Whoa. Is that loud? loud? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can I hear myself? No. no. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Let me take one ear of these cans off. And now we about to blast off like SpaceX. I get inside your playtex. Now it's time for me to play next. Oh, but give me a moment. Yo, give me a moment as I straight rip them from comas. Because before I begin to rhyme, I want to give props to the original owners of this land where we stand and I'm blessed. I always elevate the breath in my chest and know that I'm a guest. Yo, check it. Right now, I hope you're listening. You're on Kiss FM. We're about to kiss these FM airwaves and start to move through these wavelengths. Because I scare brains. Now it's time for us to get scared. Yeah, get scared. Get scared. Get really frightened inside this and do that. Understand that we could all be living in a gulag, but we're not. We need to be fortunate. We need to be grateful. Right now, it's fateful. Right now, we need to be able to point a finger at anyone who's doing some criminal stuff like George Trump or Putin. George W. Trump. George W. Bush. That's where I put them. I put them in the bush. I throw them out in the bush like Wolf Creek. I'm the creek that's drowning the wolf. I'm drowning the wolf there. I'm ready for the proof. All right. Now it's time for us to go say, I want to hear a, a suggestion from Sosie. Opportunity. Yo, opportunity knocks. Now it's time for me to get this purity locked. It's time for me to go. Yo, I've got this confusing me because I always got this knock on the door. It was opportunity, but I missed it. I didn't answer it. I was shy. I, I send a prayer up to the sky that I will never miss it. Yo, I will never miss that opportunity. Yo, check it. Now I throw it over to Rui. Visible. Visible, indivisible, like this When I'm bringing a plan, I'm the invisible man I came to raise it up, cause I might go down in flames But trust me, you'll see me, I'll be visible again Yo, understand this, I am like the fire in the sky The comet that grows across your eyes And then the little bit of uh, dust that's there in your eyes Faction, you understand that's some visible action You can see it, but it's indivisible, like the air It's invisible, like there, or it's invisible, like your fear But the fear, you feel it, you feel that come Now it's time for us to get that Let the trumpets come Make them visible Make the spirits appear Yeah, we need to be all be gripping our spear Hold the spear in the sky Yeah, don't fear it Walk into the square and make them fucking hear it Make them see it, that's what I meant to say Indivisible <laughs> Make them hear it, plus make it all visible Alright, time for this For you to hear these bells The last topic is gonna come from Michelle Trap music <laughs> Trap music Yo, I'm an old person I don't like that music You can see it Cause I'm venerating The old school hip hop I'm not from this generation But I do respect the new aesthetic That's why they got it The trap music with the hi-hats It gets so hectic That's the way they move it And you know what? I bring verbs You like to bring verbs too? You like the scissor? You wanna sip this lean? You wanna lean against the wall? You wanna see it? You wanna see them just crawl ag- against it? Yo, understand that it's whack Everybody, escape from the fucking trap Escape from the trap that's got you caught in it Now it's time for you to get caught, it's vicious Understand, I hope you're listening This is Apocalyptic Flows, Escape from the Trap on KISS FM Yeah! Yeah. Good job! That works perfectly Yeah! Oh, we did it Fuck, I I, I was gonna say like if we go down in flames (laughs) I'll erase that from memory, but I don't know, that was okay. It was all right. It's hard because we weren't we couldn't hear the beat, but like what you were spitting was like (laughs) Yo, but you could hear the fire. The fire Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me down. Thank you so much for coming in. Um so where can people find you on socials if they want to find where you are? So just type in Hugo the Poet. I got a website uh, that's semi active, but also you can find it on the Twitter, the Instagram inactive as well. (laughs) Facebook is Facebook is where I'm most active. So find it there, but the album which is, you know, contributing 50% of profits to yes. the organizations that we need to support people. If, if we want to fight against the uh, perception of the Herald Sun and stuff like that, yeah. we can't just point at it and laugh and say they got it all wrong. We've got, it, we've got to fund the solutions. Yeah, absolutely. And, and these people in our community, there are brave people who've gone there and they're working with these young people who need our help. Uh, there's a track on the album 
this that's all about responsibility and yeah it's a prayer for young people to take on responsibility but there's also a line in that says the lost among us are still our responsibility mm -hmm. so yeah, we can't absolutely. ignore these people we ignore them at our peril fantastic and well people can grab agree. that on your band camp that's yeah. correct right, so cool. on the band camp you can grab it eight dollars eleven I think money tracks. well spent i hope so guys Definitely. i really hope so Kiss FM.